aquifers. An aquifer is a geologic formation that stores and transmits a significant amount of water underground. Aquifers form around the world at various depths and have vastly different properties such as flow rate and water quality. The formation of aquifers happens when water from rain, snowmelt, rivers, and lakes goes into the soil and drains down into rock layers. The water stops moving down when it meets a less permeable rock that water can't pass through. Granite is one example of a rock that water can't easily pass through. Sandstone is a good rock layer for an aquifer because of the pore space and the ability of water to travel through it. Water in an aquifer can also move horizontally. An unconfined aquifer has the upper boundary as the water table. These aquifers can be closer to the surface than other types of aquifers. The lower boundary of all aquifers is a confining layer of rock with basically no permeability. Confined aquifers have an impenetrable rock layer as the upper boundary. These aquifers are usually located further from the ground surface. The water in this type of aquifer is under pressure and will rise up in a well to a certain height without any pumping. An artesian well is when water in a confined aquifer rises high enough to reach past the ground surface and flow over the top of the well. This occurs when the water in the confined aquifer is under significant pressure caused by the rock layer above it. Aquifers come in a wide range of sizes varying from a few meters deep to thousands of meters. They also cover vastly different areas ranging from a few hundred acres to thousands of square kilometers. Water can remain in an aquifer for a time of two weeks to 10,000 years and sometimes longer. Recharge in an aquifer occurs when water is added to it. Typically, recharge is from rain and snowmelt. In a confined aquifer, the water enters from a location where part of the aquifer is unconfined. Geology, topography, pumping rate, and the number of wells all play a role in the recharge rate of an aquifer. If the recharge rate is negative, then more water is leaving the aquifer than being replenished. If too much water is pumped out of an aquifer, ground subsidence can occur. This photo from the San Joaquin Valley in California shows a very large drop in the land surface from pumping too much water. Contamination in an aquifer can seriously reduce water quality. Contamination can occur from the ground surface or from underground. Human causes of contamination can be storage tank leaks, sewage, toxic waste, or oil and gas products. The spread of contamination in an aquifer depends on the flow dynamics and what the contaminant is. Some spread slowly while others rapidly spread to large areas. Some wells can remain safe to use and others have to be capped until the contamination can be cleaned up or they remain unusable. Cleaning up contamination in aquifers is a very complex process that tends to be expensive. Saltwater intrusion can happen in a coastal aquifer when pumping rates reduce the amount of fresh water flowing toward the ocean. When salt water enters an aquifer, an injection well can be used to add fresh water. The added water pushes the salt water back toward the ocean and keeps the pumping well from having this contamination. I'll make a separate video about wells and the effect on groundwater. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel.